Hi everyone, Pablo here. Welcome back to the channel. This is another Unreal Engine tutorial. This is part of my Unreal Engine UMG UI series. A couple of weeks back, I created a video for creating rounded corners for borders and buttons. The method I used to create the rounded corner was by utilizing materials as a brush, then few tweaks to the draw as and margins to recreate the rounded border look. That is still worth checking out. I created that video before I learned an easier way and directly from the UMG editor. In this video, we're going to learn how to create this rounded corners or buttons the fastest and easiest way. Let's go. Alright, so starting off with a black project, uh, I already created a couple of folders here. Maps, where it saved the current level, and a UI folder. So under the UI folder, right click, select user interface, the widget blueprint. Give it a name. I'm going to call me WBP underscore rounded corner and open that up. So first off, let's add the canvas panel and start off with the border. So let me drag a border here and let me zoom in a little bit. Cool. So when you drag a border, by default, it's white. If you look at the brush section here, under the draw as, by default, it would be image. So you could change that to a round box. It would look like this. It would change it to a pill. So the pill, the way it looks, if I extend this, it would just extend that pill. If I drag it uh, vertically, you would see that it could sometimes look like a football. The reason the other half here is always cornered is because of the rounding type here it says it's half height radius so this if you want this effect that's fine if you want it as a perfect circle make sure your x and y are the same so if you do 320 320 that will make it a perfect circle um let's add the text here and put that in the middle so this would be our example border first example of border so I'll say border one and let's change that to black next let's clone this use control D to clone it now let's do the proper rounded um, corner here so to do that under the rounding type here change half height radius change that to fix radius when you do that, it becomes a rectangle. Now to add some corner radius there, under here there's a corner radius. So there's an X, Y, Z, and a W. So if I put like 50 for the X, so that will be the top left, it's gonna give it a 50 radius. And if I do 50 on the Z, Z that will be on the bottom right, it would have that effect. So, let me change this to border two and create another example. So for the other example, the last one, let's just put it here. This would be border three. And this one, we want the board, the radius to be all around. So simply just define it on the corner radius here. And I'll do like that. And another cool thing you could do here is the outline. You could define an outline. So if you currently set to alpha, so set that to one and change the outline color to probably something like blue. So right now you don't see it because the width is not defined. So define the width, say uh, 15, and you would see that. Cool. So now it's looking better. So all of that just from the UMG editor without creating a material. And you could change the tint as well. Change the alpha so it looks good when we add it to the screen later. Here, maybe 0.8, and here, maybe 0.9. Cool. Um, next, let's do the buttons. So basically, the buttons are the same, but in a different area. So if I do that, maybe I'll anchor this in the middle. Cool. So for the buttons, if I resize this a little bit, um, it should be under the style, and there would be several options here. There's the normal, the hovered, press, and disabled. So you need to define it for all of these. So for the first one, the normal, 
uh, under the draw as it's already default to rounded box if you notice there's already like a corner in there but it's not that obvious because the value is 4 so you could change that to something bigger say like 25 and 25 on the other side and that should give that that kind of effect that we're getting for half radius thing cool and that will be our first example uh, let's put a text in there and change that to button one now you need to define the uh, hovered state as well so when you hover it at least it looks good so here let's change this as well to 25 and 25 and give it a different tint so blue and the outline something along those lines as well change the width to 5 and make sure on your normal state that's kind of matching or kind of bigger that's fine as well that you could have that effect cool and let's close this for the, our next button example so for button 2 you could have like full rounded corners all around so you could say this as 15 15 15 15 that is on the hovered state make sure you're doing it for the normal as well so 15 15 15 15 cool and last example probably just show you again the half height circle so for the rounding type here you could change that to half height radius and that would create a pill and if your button size is a perfect size that would create a circle for you so if you say 260 260 that would create that circle and button three cool so the hover state should be fine as well so cool so there you go um creating borders manipulating them just using the umg editor much much easier than using materials but materials has this other thing where you could create animated UI and all of that. You could check my other video for that one. So to finally add this to the level, let's quickly go to a map here. Um, open the level blueprint and under event begin play, say create a widget. Search for that class. Say uh, add to viewport. And then search for the get player controller we want to set the mouse and the input mode so here drag set mouse cursor set that to true and drag again from the player controller set input mode UI only and hook it up like that compile save save and when you play you should see those buttons in your screen so here's the border example we added some little bit of alpha in there and the button when you hover in them it would do the animation so we didn't change the half height circle here so it has this cool effect where it's a circle and then changes to a square cool so sweet and easy tutorial hope you learned something new from this uh, thumbs up thumbs down cheers bye for now